Today we have some very important activities. Uh, it's not really an activity, I lied. But we do have something very important to do today, and it's all about the dad. Dad, yes. where are we going? We are going to go to a small engine repair shop. Daddy's scooter has been taken to the doctor, you guys, because we can't get it running. Daddy had a friend of his working on it and he couldn't get it running. So what he did was he took it to a mechanic and said, look, this thing is driving me crazy. I've got to just get this thing fixed for my friend. So daddy's friend called him today and said, the mechanic has some news, you need to come in. So either the scooter is completely dead and it's not coming home or the scooter is alive and he wants him to come and see it. Uh, Dad? I hope it's fixed and it's running. <laughs> what were you told? I hope it's magically turned into a Harley. So he said that it was dead. He said the carburetor is dead and there was some, some mechanical uh, lingo that I don't understand. But basically he said it's dead. But he wants me to come so I, the mechanic can tell me what's up. So. so we're on our way to the mechanic so the mechanic can tell dad that it's dead and why it's dead. I have a different suspicion though. I think daddy's friend is pulling his leg and that the mechanic got it running and he wants daddy to come and see it because it's ready to go home. So we'll see if daddy's friend is just pulling his leg or not. I don't know. I'm thinking it's the other way. I think it's... Is but why would he want you to hear it? Like, why can't he just tell you? Sorry, dude, he tried to fix it and he can't. Uh, because I know, I, I know, I know, I just... Yeah, because daddy knows so much about mechanics that it's better to get the real information from right. the mechanic. No. Well... I don't believe it. I yeah, think he's going to tell you it's working. I really hope so, because uh, when he told me that, I, I, I'm still really bummed out. I am really sad because... Me too, because that was like $500 that we'd still have in our bank account if daddy hadn't needed to have a toy that only ran for like a month. That was a bad I guess we have to look at that as like, what, rental fee? You had to give it back, it was kind of a rental fee. Yeah. You rented an old old scooter for a month and it cost you four or $500. Yeah, it wasn't a very smart decision because with for that, for that amount of money, we could have got something better, newer, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. So I guess we're gonna see what they say when we get there, but cross your fingers for daddy. I'm hoping I'm right and he's wrong because I don't wanna waste $500. Okay, so we're just pulling up to the mechanic. <laughs> going to the bridge. Uh, just pulling up to the mechanic and we're gonna go have dad go see what this guy has to say. Hopefully we're in for some good news. Let's see. So, dad? Dad's busy crying right now. So apparently his scooter really is completely kaput because it would cost so much to put a new carburetor in it that you might as well just get a new one. So that's, that, that Because if you find a scooter that has a working carburetor from the year that his came from, like 900,000 years ago, it's an 86, so for a scooter that's incredibly, incredibly old. So to find one that has a working carburetor, would mean that you found one that already runs. So why bother taking the carburetor out of it and putting it into this scooter? And it's not only the carburetor, it's also, and, and, and I don't know what this is, but it's the crankshaft. It's getting uh, too much oil, too much gas, and too much air, and that's why it's dying. And, um, he said that because it's an 86 and only have, he only has a thousand miles, which is like really, really unusual. Um, most likely this thing sat for too long and seen too long would have rusted and destroyed the inside so basically it he said if you find it you can find the uh, carburetor but the carburetor that is in the market it's one that the electrical thing is in the wrong place so it doesn't fit i mean a bunch of jargon that i don't understand basically guys say like mommy said if you find one it has to be running might as well buy that one instead of just putting the money on this old one so he said it's paperweight so what we're hoping, what we're hoping is that daddy's friend has a neighbor who has a scooter just like it, but the body is like ugly, it's horrible. So daddy has a chance to sell his 
fairly nice looking one to the guy who has an engine that works and he can just take the engine and all the working parts out of the ugly one and put it in the pretty one and then he'll have a new scooter. So hopefully daddy can recoup some of the money that he put into this one, but it'll be really I mean, a fraction of what he put into it. But some money's better than no money, so we're crossing our fingers that, that daddy's friend can sell it to his neighbor. And, and we'll get a little bit back. And that money could go towards a brand new scooter that we'll be purchasing in the near future. <laughs> oh no, no, not a scooter. We're gonna be buying a Harley Davidson. We will, it will be going towards a truck that... You're killing the smalls. It'll be going towards, family, be money. Going towards family money. It'll be going towards Disneyland. Doing something fun together. You already had your chance to buy something and you wasted your money. We're not wasting any more money. I am really sad and I should open a GoFundMe account and be like, buy me a scooter, please. <laughs> yeah, you should do that. Let's see how many people feel sorry for you that your scooter broke. When you went out and bought the oldest scooter you could possibly find, and then spent more than a third of the money on the oldest scooter so, you could possibly find. You know how they say what's cheap? I don't know if they have that in English. Anyway, in Spanish, so I think you it get says, what you pay for. Lo barato sale caro. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> if you buy something cheap, it's gonna be expensive eventually. Yes, I bought a scooter that was fairly cheap. It wasn't to, that cheap, it was $300. I mean, compared to the average $500. Right, so you cost. saved $200 and you got to drive it for a month and now you don't have exactly. one. <laughs> I should have waited and buy a newer, better one. I know what mommy's saying. I don't say that. I didn't, I I didn't not, say that out loud. I am not admitting that she told me that. I'm not admitting that and I will never admit that she was right. <laughs> ever. Put on your sad faces, guys. This is not a happy day. Daddy's scooter is officially dead. Daddy's scooter will not be coming home. We should be having a funeral. <sighs> Everybody say something nice about Daddy's scooter. I liked riding on you. It was purple. Purple. <laughs> I liked your black and purple swirl. Yeah. Uh, I, um, Dad almost put stickers was... on you. I oh, liked sure. that Dad never died riding you. The puff of black smoke will be missed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't the best scooter, but Dad did have some fun times on it. Yeah. He rode it like, oh, 10, 15 times maybe. Good times, good times. Mostly he just rode around in circles in the driveway because you guys wanted to ride. It's <laughs> what happens when you buy old, 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 old scooters. Just don't buy cheap. Yeah, uh, if you spend good money, you get a good scooter. Yeah. If you don't, wait, wait then you don't. What if you spend ten hundred thousand? Then you get a really good scooter, really, really good scooter, probably with diamonds encrusted in it. <laughs> We're not getting that kind though. If Daddy ever gets a scooter again, it will likely be a much more expensive one because we will not be making this mistake twice. So like, more like 1,000. Scooters really aren't very expensive. You can really buy a pretty good scooter for even $500. Uh, Daddy just tried to go the cheap route because he didn't want to wait until he had 200 more dollars. So he took his $300 and he spent it on the cheapest scooter he could find, which just happened to be the oldest scooter you could find. Who knew? Yeah, who, knew? <laughs> who would have thought? But he thought it would be okay because it had low mileage. Uh, doesn't quite work that way when it's 95,000 years old. Low mileage isn't necessarily a good thing because that means it's not been driven. And like Daddy found out, that can cause worse problems than driving it too much. Oh well, you live and you learn, right? Yeah. It's an expensive lesson, but we've got to learn them somehow. But for now, I guess it's probably just time to send these smarty pantses to bed. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make this channel strong. Share it with your friends. And now, good night, YouTube. See you tomorrow. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now. Subscribe now.
touch it, touch it, touch it. Poo. Rest in peace, Daddy's motorcycle. I'm Hopefully, though. Hopefully, Daddy's motorcycle is not going to heaven just yet. Hopefully, they're going to put a new motor in it and give it a new life. It just won't be ours anymore. It'll be reincarnated. Because it needs some organ transplants. <laughs> but it should be okay if somebody else wants it. Bye, school.